Good day folks. This is a Danfoss VLT variable speed three phase motor drive. Uh, model or type 3008, 3008. This one came to me just as a bit of miscellaneous scrap. It was rejected by Danfoss for repair since it's too far gone and I had a friend look at it and he seems to think it's had totally had it as well so basically just something to strip down for scrap aluminium and other little goodies. I'm not sure what the motor horsepower rating for these things are but it's probably around 5 to 10 horsepower. In a moment I'll start stripping it down and try and explain some of the parts. I've never done one before so I might need some help from fellow YouTubers might be able to clarify on some of these parts. Basically this is the logic control board here on top. It enables the user to connect it to a variety of controls, other VFDs or other equipment. You can also program in your motor horsepower, rated current, voltage, you have a forward reverse option for the motor, jog the spindle, obviously reset and you can start and run the motor just from this control. I'll use some sort of external personal computer plug in by these little connectors. Underneath that is your main power board. This is where your power connects in. You have live 1, 2 and 3 as well as ground. This one here is your motor output, your variable speed motor. These little blue gadgets here act just like your little clamp on multimeter or amp meter. The wire for the motor runs straight through them and the machine reads and regulates current flow through each of those three legs. Those wires come from these big coils down here, which are, I believe, I haven't opened one up yet, but they are a solid coil of very thick solid copper wire. Basically the same, the same gauge as this insulation here. I'll have to cut or incinerate one to open it up. And display its insides tomorrow. I'm not an expert on VFDs, I just picked this thing out of the scrap a while ago. Maybe somebody can fill me in on the more specific, specific components of these. Basically what's happening inside a VFD is your three phases, one, two and three, are being taken from AC form up here and converted into DC form with a capacitor bus on it. Up here, two big electrolytic capacitors. These are your solid state rectifier packs. Uh, much bigger ones here from a significantly larger VFD that I scrapped some time ago. These, these connected connections hooked up to four very big capacitors. These are heat sunk onto the back heat sink panel in the machine. And again, there's your coils. So basically what's happening is turning alternating current into direct current at a variable frequency. You have your positive lead and negative lead here going to the capacitors, as well as one, two and three phase leads coming off, going through these big coils up to here. These devices are measuring and regulating current. And you have your motor legs, U, V and W, which connect up to your motor here, U, V and W. This is a 0.75 kilowatt or probably one horsepower WEG motor. I've had this one for quite a while, I only just found it the other day when I was cleaning up. Basically when the VFD is running, the control board switches the DC bus on and off at a set frequency to basically create a waveform coming through the motor which basically makes it run at a varied speed depending on the frequency of the waveform. The motor doesn't actually see DC current itself. These, I believe, are actually inverter modules or part of the inverter circuit which turns the current fre or frequency modulated current back to AC rather than DC. They're coming straight off these packs here with a part of these packs must obviously be 
oh, obviously part of the inverter with the DC side up here, but turning back into AC as it comes down through here and then finally through the current measure current measurement devices and out to your motor. Uh, some VFDs use insulated gates, bipolar transistors to create DC current. Uh, I believe the older ones use silicon controlled rectifiers, much like a, a welding machine uses silicon controlled rectifiers to make AC or DC current from AC to facilitate DC welding. These are actually IGBTs or insulated gate bipolar transistors, not SCRs. So unfortunately I don't think I can use these in one of my projects that I have coming up. I'll definitely hang on to them though, just in case. Apart from that I suppose, the power transformer down the bottom that supplies 24 volts for the control. 240 volt AC control fan or cooling fan. Well, what I thought was a transformer is actually a choke coil for the DC board. This thing here, there's no, there's only two pins on it. And straight in there, it even says it on the board, DC choke. And these are the capacitors, 1000 microfarad, 385 volt. Definitely come in here with something. Coil. Not sure what this little critter is, but it looks like a uh, another rectifier. And these connections go up to the control board. And it's actually melted. Drive a current. Not much else to tear out of this apart from these uh, coils here and these packs. Well, I'm no, I'm no VFD expert, but basically what it does is it uses a computer to turn AC into DC, jiggles the frequency around a little bit, turns it back into AC, and sends it off to the motor. Well, you can run the motor at anything from, I don't know, 1 or 5 hertz up to 500 hertz. I have seen them in use on a few different occasions, especially on the old Akuma multi uh, or turret lathes, NC turret lathes. They have their own version, of course. So do many other companies like Hitachi, WEG. Um, numerous companies make BFDs. Danfoss is just one of them. Some use silicon controlled rectifiers instead of these things. Uh, they all run on the basic the same principle though. 